Oh, I didn't see you there. This video is brought to you by Honey. Nobody wants to feel like they're overpaying when they're shopping online, but did you know there's an easier way to get the lowest prices possible? It's called Honey. Honey is a free browser plugin that automatically finds the best promo codes for wherever you shop online. This means you always get the best deals wherever you shop online without even trying on over 30,000 sites such as Amazon, eBay, Microsoft, G2A, J.Crew, Newegg, Razor, Walmart, and more. So as you can see, I'm buying a bunch of different car cleaning supplies. Now I do own a Porsche. I know that's difficult to comprehend, but it does need cleaning, which I'm not gonna trust with any vagrant. I'll be doing that. And as you can see, Honey has saved me $5.62 on all these cleaning supplies. Now that may not seem like much at first, but if you keep doing this, it really adds up. So this is how easy it is to install Honey. You'll see here, just click a couple times and boom, it's installed. It only takes two clicks. Honey has saved its 10 million members over $800 million and counting. Also, Honey has over 100,000 five-star reviews on the Google Chrome store. So the last time I mentioned Honey, a few thousand of you installed it. Well, they just told me that those of you who did have saved an average of over 15% on your purchases, woo! That's an average of $30.81 each and over $135,627 total. Kib, can you believe that? That's more money than you'll ever have in your entire I life. I can't even believe that. That's more money than I'll ever have in my entire life. I know. It's free to use and installs in just, once again, two clicks. So get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash Steven. That's not Sugar Pine 7. Uh, it's just me, baby. Uh, that's joinhoney.com slash Steven. Thank you, Honey, for supporting this channel. We very much appreciate it. You can check their link in the description down below. Please go check them out. It takes two clicks. It's so easy. And goodbye. <laughs> My name is Steven Suptic, and I wasn't having it today. Hey, Steve? Nope. Steve. I changed my mind. I decided to indulge Jamie. Maybe this time it would be important. Yeah. Hey, James. God. Oh, fuck. What? Nothing, dude. Don't worry about it. I'm writing. I know. I can. That's fine. Hey, James, do you want a raw cow hide? No, I'm fine. Thank oh you, though. God. I appreciate okay. it. I just, Alyssa made me some of that. I had extra. Um, I have a silver necklace, actually. Would you, do you want it? I have a couple silver spoons too. I've been meaning to get rid of them. No. Is this because of the mask? Ha ha ha, James is a werewolf. No, he's having a good time. I don't know if you are having a good time based on your tone. I'm having a great time, Jamie. How are you? Are you trying to hide something? Is there something underneath the mask we should know about? No. No. All right. Nobody in the office besides Kib actually thought James was a werewolf, but he kept trying to convince us otherwise. Hey, um. What? Nothing, nothing. It's fine. Oh my god. What year is it? You look like I should be on a list. Hey. You look like Alyssa! You look like you're the one that makes lists. Mm -hmm. This is like a really bad game of Dungeons and Dragons, except it's werewolf and grandma. <laughs> Mistake? Need a mistake? I was annoyed with the way Jamie handled the camera, flipping it back and forth, not allowing it to focus on any person until the action already happened. I made a note to threaten to kill him later. I would say you look good in them, but I can't even tell. No, my eyesight. It's um, not vertical, it's, it's this, this axis. All right. There, that's better. That's when we had the perfect idea to make James's werewolf mask useful. We planned to scare our coworkers. It would be easy. I'd lure them away from safety, and James would take advantage of them. It was just like when I roomed with Brett Kavanaugh in college. He was the man, always getting his way. What's that thing he, he's all, he always said? It makes me laugh every time. No means always, and keep going. Anyway, we started with the Underdweller in her dungeon, Autumn. You gotta come see this. Okay. This was it. Potentially the greatest prank in Sugar Pine 7 history. I was confident James could pull this off. Off. Too confident. It's over in her office. Okay. What kind of scare was that idiot? Boo. That's actually really yucky. I don't like that. I didn't know when you were coming. You didn't give me a warning. You just walked away. Oh, it's so hot in there. Dude, loud noises. Okay, I have an idea. We would scare Jade next. She has no sense of the world around her. She just sits in her corner of hell every day, hoping someone would finally make contact with her. We would that day, but not to converse, rather to traumatize. She's not, she's not there. I think you did this. I didn't look in before, uh. That didn't go as planned. We'd try the Funhouse crew next. Yeah, me too. But is that play of book names? Maybe. 
Uh, They're in the middle of a recording. That didn't go as planned. We'd try the GIMP next. Hey, Tori, are you in there? Where the fuck is Tori? Tori. That didn't go as planned. Next, we try the man in the boy's clothing. Check out. Yes. Can I actually show you something? Yeah. Look at the curvature of his body. He was scared. I was sure of it. James impressed me with this one. Oh. 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 We left him there. Jade had returned. Jade! What? Jade, you guys see this? Oh. Bark, bark. Another victim. She was upset, but we didn't stick around to hear her complaints. They were meaningless anyway. I did have some complaints of my own directed toward James. Why aren't you yelling at people, man? It's tension building. Think of hereditary versus- This is a jump scare. There's no such thing as tension building with this. Okay, it's so it's just, just louder? Yeah, do it loud. Autumn had fucked off. Vicky was all alone. Hey, Vicky. Hello. How you doing? Good. Good. What's up? Not much. I'm just, uh, you know, chilling with no makeup on. That's one of the prettiest. Hope you don't take it wrong. It's okay. She had no idea. And James was prepared to yell the scariest thing he could possibly think of. Vicky! That's the oh, scariest thing you could possibly geez. think of to say. Jesus Christ, man. What the fuck were you thinking? That didn't go as planned. We moved on to Elise Williams. How many fingers am I holding up? Seven. No, no, I need you to look at me. How many fingers am I holding up? Four, okay, T, 40, 50. How many do you want me to pull up? Mom's dead! Come on, she doesn't give a shit. Just yell at the poor woman. Oh, he's right here. I gave James one more chance to not screw up. This will be the final chapter in the werewolf saga, scaring our boss, technically, Ruth. Yeah, good to go. Why is he doing that? Um, Steve. It was a prank. I just knocked him, I knocked him out. James. I've never knocked anybody out before. James. James. I think you knew what he was getting into. James. Is he okay? Hey. Yeah, I think he's breathing. Yeah, wake up. You breathing? I think he's breathing. Let's check his pulse. Yeah, he's breathing. Ah, what the fuck? I'm sorry, man. I didn't even realize. I just thought it was a fucking wolf. I'm a oh, real wolf, you're an idiot. No, no, I'm really sorry, man. I just that was just my natural reaction. Alright, well. That's gonna be a funny video. You want anything like water or like a anywhere or something? Potass potassium? I'm gonna probably just leave you here. Oh no, dude! Bugs. What if I what if I come back as a bug when I die? I left the tub early to escape my mind and find my friends. James unfortunately had his door.